Hello, welcome to Appliance Master Live. I'm Bill, and again I'm here with Kari. Hello, and today we're going to be talking all about Appliance Master as, you know, the company birthday is coming up on June 16th. So we're just going to, you know, go over some history, ask Bill some questions as he's, you know, the owner and Bef president. Before we start, though, I want to give a special shout out to Bonnie Grant, who I know, she said she never misses a live performance. So, hi Bonnie. Hope you're enjoying your lunch break. <laughs> So now let's start with basic, like you started Appliance Master a while ago. Yeah, we don't mention years anymore. I don't know why. We've forgotten exactly, but it's been over 30 years, over 35 years, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what made you, you know, want to start Appliance Master and drew you towards, you know, the appliance repair industry? All right. Well, my brother worked in the industry and, uh, I was on my own when I was 18, mm -hmm. so I was, you know, trying a few different things, and um, I worked for him one summer, and fixing things is easy for me. I can, mm -hmm. I still think I can fix just about anything, and, um, and, and I don't know, I was, I think I was kind of a people person, so I got along with people, I mm -hmm. wasn't afraid to go into people's homes and, and uh, make repairs, and I did have other, I had an auto body business for about a year and a half. Before I started this mm -hmm. and uh, anyway so was it you know more so like helping people and problem-solving that maybe would you say? well I mean helping people was a, a benefit and I guess getting paid was a benefit too but problem-solving it was like you know it's almost uh, addictive it's like you mm -hmm. almost want things thrown at you to uh, yeah so like I said it's kind of a, figure it out yeah figure things mm -hmm. out it's pretty um I guess it came naturally and then in the beginning, it was, was it just you and, you know, eventually you decided to grow your team. What made you want to, you know, hire employees and more technicians? Well, in the beginning, it was just me. It was just me and um, um, I hired an answering service and myself. And then, uh, and I would take any service call anywhere, any time of day. And, and bef it was probably less than a year that I had way more work that I could handle. Mm -hmm. And... And I tell people to this day, like that kind of enthusiasm out of employees or technicians is like, if you want, if you want to have more work than you can handle, and if you want to enjoy mm -hmm. what you do, it's like you, you should come to work with that kind of an attitude, regardless of what you do. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. Well, so I always say, like mm -hmm. I think within three years, I had five employees mm -hmm. went from an answering service to a full-time, you know, telephone customer service person and four technicians and then it uh, you know when you're I was in the field with you know the three other technicians and mm -hmm. and you know there was just there was just we just kept getting more work and kept growing mm -hmm. have you enjoyed being a mentor and teaching new technicians the trade and the business I you know I do I mean it's like any kind of teacher you, mm -hmm. know, I, you know I guess I'm sort of a teacher where uh, you know, if people are eager to learn, I'm more than eager to, tr to help mm -hmm. train. And it's funny because in this business, it's not just, I mean, teaching the technical part of it is the easiest. Small, yeah, that's the easiest. Teaching technicians why time management's important, why good hygiene is important, why administrative parts of the business are extraordinarily important, probably more important than anything. And, uh, you know, having them embrace those mm -hmm. disciplines is sometimes a... Uh, where the challenge lies. Yeah. And I mean, I know that I've worked at Appliance Master for seven years, I think, seven now. Years. But it's constantly, you know, changing and growing and evolving. So I'm sure over a longer span of time, you've seen some really big changes in Appliance Master. What do you think is the biggest change that really mm. took us to the next level? Well, that's the thing. We're, we're, there isn't, we've been through, it seems like, so many levels. Like, the very first level is like when you're an entrepreneur, like you do what you do. You mow mm -hmm. lawns, you paint houses, whatever you whatever you do, that's what you think. But now you hire somebody and now you're an employer. And it's like that's a whole different, mm -hmm. you know, that's a level a lot of people don't survive it, because um, there's a lot more regulation, federal, state. There's all kinds of uh, um, liability issues. It's... It's it's that is so much more difficult than any business, I think. But 
level one. You, 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 know, you have your pitfalls, you survive those kind of challenges. And then you, uh, and, and then there's always, the, it becomes the balancing of like um, getting a, a pipeline of work, having like capable workers, you know, having the office coordinate everything. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a challenge. A lot of moving pieces, it sounds like. Yeah. And then um, at some point, like, you know, we've been through back in the day when everything was on paper, like Appliance Fester started when computers were like, when the personal computer was brand new. And now it's like you, uh, there's almost no paper involved in any transaction. It's all electronic. Yeah, I remember when we transitioned from the paper to everything yeah. electronic and the resistance. There are a lot of cultural changes as yeah. well. Some technicians, oh, you know, like, I guess not just humans in general. They have a system, it works, I understand it. And I come along and like, oh, we're changing it. It's like, uh, yeah. you need a lot of resistance. But, you know, um, it's for the better. I mean, we have better communication. Uh, since our last, what was the term you used? The last plateau or level we put through? Since we uh, had the discipline to um, the electronics and mm -hmm. all, you know, data driven. And all our communication is backed up by, uh, you know, some written documentation, you know, email, faxes, mm -hmm. or, you know, faxes, like I said, but, um, you know, um, electronic invoices. Uh, having that, everything stated clearly uh, removes a lot of the um, verbal communication from a service mm -hmm. industry. Like, in a service yeah. business, it's like, um, people tend to hear what they want to hear, and uh, technicians sometimes say the wrong thing, talk too much. And uh, so when, it, when things are written down and the parties, everyone understands, mm -hmm. you know, what charges are, what, how long parts might take, what warranties might be, costs, when, and that's, it, it makes life so much simpler. And Yeah, I have to agree with you there. <laughs> that customers can decide whether to spend money on a repair mm -hmm. and what's involved. And um, so that's, that was the last hurdle. But we, and we've been, well now our current hurdle is we've been, we're so, we're so successful with that is that we need, you know, we need technicians. Yeah. And um, actively recruiting and hiring. So, uh, if you know anybody, well, send uh, them our way. Our one technician, John, I was talking to yesterday, was an auto mechanic for, we worked for dealerships for six years. And he says, he talks to people about this job, and I don't know what his, his exact words were, like, they don't believe me or they don't understand, like, how he makes more money doing this, his, mm -hmm. has much more flexible hours. He's not working in a shop all day. He has different, yeah. you know, it's different scenery, different customers. It, it's in more enjoyable work. You make more money. But people look, they still look, I think it's still looked down upon, like any of the trades. People look, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, plumbers, electricians, or HVAC people are, are looked at with, like, even more, um, I don't know, um, professional respect than a, an a appliance technician. Mm -hmm. But appliance technicians are... Uh, I, I really yeah, they're skilled, they're trained, you know. And, but it's also, it, I like to liken it to being an EMT, where like you arrive on the scene of an accident, you have to like, please stand back, you triage the situation, <laughs> yes. you're like, and you have to take control of the situation, you have to, uh, if, you, if a lot of times, if you're um, in a lot of professions, the customer is separated from you. Like you get to work in your mm -hmm. space, and, but that interaction with like customers makes it, it's another level of a, uh, you know, complexity, which I, you know, appliance technicians deserve a lot of respect. And some of the, and these technicians, they come in, they, and they're continually learning skills from, uh, you know, to... Yeah, they, they, have to, they have to really stay with the times yeah. as far as, like, you know, new technology goes, because just like, you know, your phone and your computer will get, you know, new technology with it, your appliances are as well, so the technicians constantly have to be doing yeah. research, learning on their own for... And, and like there's a national company that's struggling right now, and maybe you know their name, but they're, um, I don't even know if they're in, still in business, but they're in, you know, some form of a reorganization. Mm -hmm. But they have technicians, they have technicians only fix your washing machine, only fix your refrigerator, only fix your garage door opener. But I, I think, or, you know, I ask our technicians to handle as much as mm -hmm. that as possible, which it's all, um, the things that there are all these appliances are relatively similar and getting help or you know using mm -hmm. uh, references from the manufacturer you know from other technicians from other mm -hmm. sources is like you have to learn that and you and you're and you're really like not limited to what you can repair 
Mm -hmm. And then, what would you say that you're most proud of as far as, you know, it goes as your time of being the leader of Appliance Master? Well, I mean, pride is interesting. It's like, what makes me, um, I, you know, it's, it's always pleasing to see is when I see people become successful. Mm -hmm. Like Kari here, like, you know, seven years, I think she's, you know, she's doing really great. And, uh, right? I think so. <laughs> but she's one of the few, but she's one of the few people that's brave enough to get on, you know, get in front of a camera. So we have a lot of other great people, some people yeah. behind the camera that are just mm -hmm. way too chicken to get on the camera. But they're, uh, so I'm proud of the people. Mm -hmm. We, you know, um, a lot of the technicians we have there, nobody goes, there's no school really that so you can just study this discipline. So people come from, you know, we've had dairy managers, we had, you know, um, just uh, clerks. Mm -hmm. We have just walking in the back door. Mailmen. We have, uh, you know, yeah. people from every walk of life that we've like, you know, they have the potential to learn and, you know, interact mm -hmm. with people. And and I and when we train them, like I'm pleased to see that, you know, these people now have like, they have um, children and houses and cars, and they're like, and they're able to live in New Jersey mm -hmm. and pay their bills. So like, you know, that's no small feat. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm proud of. Nice. And then. Or is there any direction that you would hope to see Applied Master go in, in the future or near future? Yeah, I think if we can promote uh, this, um, the services that we pro offer and pr uh, promote this industry mm -hmm. and um, yeah, funnel the best technicians, train the best technicians, and continue to offer like outstanding customer service, that's the direction because there's absolute need for it. Like every house, every every I challenge anybody to bring me over your house. I'll find something that's not working. Now, if there's I something will fix it. Well, and or something that needs maintenance. Every and if you if you wait too long, it's mm -hmm. going to break and and things get worse. It's like there's a definite need for this kind of maintenance, mm -hmm. and um, and once people learn about appliance master, they're not reluctant. Like like I even wanted to add um, changing smoke detector batteries to smoke detectors because. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely something that gets neglected until they're going and it's annoying. So. Like that's a, that's a minor service, but it's a pain. And you know, mm -hmm. if, and if we're there, you know, if we're there maintaining, you know, your dryer venting or your refrigerator or cleaning your ice maker, we'll throw batteries in your smoke detector. It takes, yeah. you know, it's like I'm sure you got to find a ladder. You got to like, you know, you got to find nine volt batteries. You got to figure out how the thing works. You're going to be like, it's probably yeah. going to be beeping at you while it happens. So don't wait for that. Yes. Uh, the point is, is like the services. I mean, that's a silly little thing, but we, uh, our services keep expanding, our expertise keeps expanding. I have technicians that are mentors now that are training other technicians, and um, like everybody's growing and learning. Mm -hmm. What do you like work? What do you like about Appliance Master? What do I like about Appliance Master? I think that my favorite thing about working here is the. The, everybody's looking out for each other and we all generally are everybody that works here is on the same page and wants to see each other succeed and see the business succeed and you know you know the benefits of working for a small or family-owned company and and you got you may not see this but every day I mean I mean we're I mean there are any service calls we're doing 50 60 80 90 service calls a day where you know people things are getting fixed People are saving money. We're mm -hmm. not throwing things in landfills. We're not, you know, yeah, we're, you know, we're saving people time and getting their lives back together. Mm -hmm. and, that, uh, and I wish in the office we could just, you know, see more of that. Yeah. Anyway. Do you have anything more that you want to well, let was, everybody know about? I was hoping semester. there would be cake oh. at this party, but well. Maybe on the 16th, because that's the actual birthday oh, okay. for the company. Cool. So. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in again this week. And okay. Yeah, um, if you have any questions for us or you want to know more about Appliance Master, you can certainly give us a call, 800-752-7123. Um, you know, check out some of our videos that we've previously recorded if you're a new viewer. Get And start all your questions at appliancemaster.com. Mm -hmm. Go there quickly. Um, you can, and of course, if you like us on Facebook, that helps too. We yeah, spread the word. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks.